And here we are, welcome back, season 133, we're back. We're gonna see how long this server lasts. I'm gonna be trying to live somewhat near the water for oil rig because I've really, I haven't done too much oil rig considering the newest update that it came out. Okay, I'm gonna leave that right there and I'm gonna go to hit the street. Then I'm gonna make a stone pickaxe after I hit down the street, then finish off that node. All right, boom, there we go, cool. Yeah, my plan for uh, for this wipe is to go to oil rig more. I mean, I was kind of planning on that with the last wipe, but with where the oil rig was at on the map, it just it just did not work out that well. I mean, I went there a couple times, but I never had to deal with like really any counters and whatnot. Yeah, let's just get all the stone that we're gonna be needing for our base. I'm definitely gonna be making my vault base this time around. On the last server that I was on, I uh, just made like a one by two. Okay, yeah, that's definitely gonna be enough stone for my vault base. Nice. Oh yeah, and then I do have uh, no BPs on here, by the way, just so we all know. I see someone ask me in my Discord, thoughts on the new Fallout show? I've never actually gotten into Fallout before, but my dad told me that he actually liked the first season a good bit. And that's despite him never even playing, like, the game before and shit. Hearing AK shots over there. No thank you, no thank you. Do I want to get my wood here or elsewhere? Aw, oh, shit, man, that's a thing, Dylan. I actually see a guy over there right now. Um, I want to definitely live, like, over there somewhere. But there's really not a shitload of trees, which kind of sucks. Yeah. I'm going to farm up all of the, uh, wood that I'm going to need for a base real quick. I already have all the stone, so... Oh my god, dude, you have to be fucking kidding me. God damn it, dude. Fucking hate getting wood with a passion, man. I hate it. At least I got a bag down, at least. At least I got a bag down. <laughs> I will say, though, aside from dying and, like, losing, like, you know, shit for a base, I am excited for that area now because that guy is just running around P2 wetsuit. It really shouldn't be too hard to snowball on that guy at some point if we get more chances. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll see you guys when I get a base down. <laughs> stone do I have left? A little bit. Alright. TC can go down in either one of the corners. I guess it'll go... I guess it'll go, like, right here. Yeah. I'm just gonna put down just, like, one small box for now, I suppose. And... Put all this shit away except for the stone pick. And I'm just gonna go outside and just farm up a little bit of comps. And I'm gonna bring this, uh, planter box with me. To get the tarp. Yeah, we'll see how that spot works out for a base, I guess. Shouldn't be too bad. But, yeah, get, uh, getting the external TCs down might be a little bit of a problem. I'm just gonna be farming components as it's dark outside, and then I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you at daytime, my friend. Oh, there's actually an airdrop getting called in at Small Oil. Dude, I hope that, like, Small Oil, it's looking good right now, first day on here, it's looking good. People are instantly taking it and all that, calling in airdrops there and whatnot. It better stay like that game, okay, because as soon as I'm going there consistently, in two days, or even tomorrow, like, there better still be people going there, okay? Yeah, this run's looking really, really good for us, though. I love this. Uh, I'm gonna keep, I guess, like, four rope. Yeah, sure. Alright, I'm out of here. 121 scrap, around 500 cloth, 280 frags. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'll see you guys as soon as it's daytime. Alright, so it's now daytime. I just now actually F1 killed inside my base just so I can get more... HP and food because I was dying from starvation, but I'm seeing another airdrop get called in over there at oil rig right now What the fuck dude? Someone's just chilling there calling in airdrops over and over I guess all right uh, There's actually a lot crate over at dome dome isn't super close to here But I'm thinking about going there and trying to get it just cuz I don't know I feel like we might have a chance so Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. You know, a little bit of a risky play to start out with, but let's go. We have everything to make a bow and arrows and rad protection, so why not, right? As soon as I get up here, we can all kind of see how far away Dome is from here. Um, yeah, you can see it like kind of like far back there in the distance behind the trees. So, yeah, it's really not, it's really not that close to where we live, but I mean... Oh! I just now saw someone like drop something. 
Something just like fell down here that I saw. What the fuck was that? I don't know, but someone's gonna be up there. That's all that I know. I know that someone's up there from what I just saw. How the hell are we gonna go about this? Oh shit. Can someone hold me right now, please? Yeah, I just not heard him up there. Dude, let it just be a bow guy, please. That'd be so sick. Oh no, it's like a hazzy guy or something. I just not heard his fucking boots. Oh shit. Fucking incense bullets and he beams me. Oh my god. Stop. Don't be like that. Well played, GG's. Yeah, let's actually focus on shit that's gonna help us out. Oh shit, dude. Back to back sewing kits I got. Yeah, let's just keep on building up, man. Keep on building up, try and get cro uh, crossbow. Nail gun, then we can probably build up from there. That guy's so fucking lucky no one with gear is showing up, though. What a free lot to create. More sewing kits. Holy shit, man. I already got 12 sewing kits. Hit the barrel now, you motherfucker! I haven't got a gun from a crate uh, super recently, so I feel like that's got to be on the way. I don't... I don't know why. Like I am I'm genuinely like upset right now. Over the whole dome thing. Just keep on building up, Dylan. Get guns and shit, and you'll be happier than ever, okay? Just just start fucking farming. Start farming like a little bitch would, okay? Dylan, shut your ass up. <laughs> More sewing kits. Holy shit, man. This is easily the most sewing kits that I've got. Like, it feels like in years, like, at least when how uh, when it comes out fast I'm getting it. I actually could go over to uh, Underwater Lab. Underwater Lab is somewhat near over here. So I could always go there on a boat if I want and then just take it with a bow. Man, dude. Like, I don't know. Like, any, like anytime that I live near Ferry Terminal and loot it and shit, man, it just feels like such an underrated spot to live by. It's got the transit shit that goes down, a recycler, a bunch of different crude spawns, a bunch of crate spawns, barrel spawns. I mean, it's just it's just too good. It has the car lift thing here. I mean, definitely like a... Like a, like a really good solo player is Rad Town. If like you're looking for kind of a chill spot to grind at, <clears throat> this is that spot. I say that as soon as we get home, we just, uh, we just make a tier one bench, then make crossbow nail gun. Oh shit, I just saw someone. Yeah, let's be careful here. E e e like, even though like, I really, really want to fight, it's just obviously like with this type of shit on. Oh, yeah. Um. That guy's up there, though. I'm gonna try getting inside my base depot, and then I'll go try fighting him. Yeah, then if I die, that'll be when I instantly make a... What's it called? A, uh, tier 1 bench and make, like, crossbow and shit. Question is, where did he go now? I don't hear anything inside this base, so he's not inside there, I don't think. Fucking bushes! This... Like, oh my god. And it, like, I don't know how to get used to it, guys. I really, really don't want to complain about it. I don't. But it happens every day. And yeah, I see this guy. He's way over here in the snow. I mean, I'm down to try fighting real quick. I just want to get it over with. Yeah, exactly. Well played. Dylan, make a tier one bench right now. You hear me? Yep, I'm hearing him. Can't do shit, though. Can't do shit. He's vulnerable. He's mining. If I had a gun, he's insta-dead. It's it's just crazy to think about that. Oh, my God. It's crazy. See, and it's like I really, really like want to like replace this door with a sheet door, but at the same time, like I mean, he should not be out there, Dylan. He should not be out there. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. If he's out here, man, I swear. Okay, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I don't know, I've just kind of been shitting on myself this whole session, guys. Same thing with, like, the last session. I don't know, I'm just, I don't know, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling confident right now. I don't know what it is, I'm just not. I'm feeling tired. I think that it's time for me to put down, uh, put down the weed for a little bit, man. Because I always go on breaks, because it, I don't know, I, just because I don't want to end up dependent on it, at all, like, at all. But, um, my last break was probably, like, shit at this point. Maybe, like, two months ago, maybe, is when I started back up smoking again, and I went on, like, a three-month break. So, maybe it's time for another break for a month or two. Because I am waking up, and my head is just feeling, like, 
tired or, or like not really tired but just foggy like i got sleep but yeah and i'm hearing this guy shoot over here man one second oh okay what is happening over here dude is this all just going down in just like a random spot or is it at like someone's base or something jesus that just scared the shit out of me ah oh, there's two I should just get out of here just with this, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here with the freaking revolver, though, man. It's just, it, it, it's just worth it. We need to be researching shit. We have no BPs on here, so. Oh, shit. I'm hearing that guy shoot MP5 now. I think there's just, like, that full inventory of mine, and that guy's just, like, sitting over there, and he can't grab it all or something. That's my guess. I'll get back over there and give it another shot, see if I can get any more, but I'm happy that we just now got a revolver. That's big. All right, we back, we back, we back. I don't know if I'm actually going to make it back here in time to give it a shot at killing the SAR guy at all, though. I'm, uh, I mean, he's he's in kind of a weird spot. He's on, like, the peak of a hill. So moving up on that is going to be a problem. All right, well, I'm back. I don't know what's going on over here. I've heard gunshots here and there, but... Well played, GG's. I had to hit a fucking shot right there and back up, but I failed. Now, now I just need to get outside and farm up some more wood, because, yeah, we're pretty much dead on wood and stone, but we can just knock down a few trees, get, like, one stone. Oh, then I'll be right back to where I was. Yeah, so Stephanie's still up and going over there. Okay, I don't know what happened to the SAR guys and shit, but they never killed Stephanie for that gear set. That's the same gear set as before. And, and if I'm correct, Stephanie looked like he lived inside of, like, a little base. Like some like really small shit, like a one by two or something like that, like with no honeycomb or anything. Assuming that that was his base that he came out from around, I think that it was though. Crazy. But see, like, that's the thing about Stephanie, right? Like he's having a good day right now. He just had a good mining run. He just took on those guys, I think. But he's gonna get raided sooner than later because of how easy it is to find out where he lives. He just he just wears it on his sleeve, like yeah, no, this is where I live. So I don't know. Like, it's players like that where you can't really wonder why you get raided a lot. I feel like. Because you just don't even give a shit. I actually wonder what the odds are that that guy left my crossbow and shit. I think that I'm going to have to go over there and find out real quick. Yeah. I mean, I'm liking my area right now, though, man. My area is looking really, really good. Hey, hey. What the fuck? It's okay. That was fun. That was, that was a fun fight. My man. Wait, was was so that you guys so with so all so the so farm? So. Was that you guys with all the farm? No. We, we killed this guy. Yeah, dude, I killed a guy, and he had a fuck ton of farm, and then I think you guys might have killed me. Yeah, dude, th these guys live inside, like, this one by two, man. Yeah, there's not really much left over here, though. I, I mean, I'm wondering if there's, like, a gun on the ground that none of them found or something. There's always a chance of that, but... but yeah, dude, I don't know, man. Like, like, it's just crazy. I feel like if I just had guns, I could come over here and actually kill a lot of these guys. I need to get SARS and shit, man. Hopefully we come up on that soon, whether if it's today or tomorrow, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that'll be sick. But now the sun is going down, so what is the plan? I mean, I do have scrap. I could go buy a boat and get, like, a diving tank and shit and hit up, uh... I could hit up, uh, Underwater Lab. I'm just gonna recycle a few extra things, though, just so I'm not burning through too much scrap. I don't know, I'm just thinking to myself right now, just for a moment, like, holy fuck. I've died a lot today. I mean, I, I mean, like, you've been out geared every time, Dylan. Like, it's not like that's shocking. It's not like that weird. <laughs> I don't know, man. Sometimes I just hold myself to such a high standard to where, like, if I just die three times in a session, I just feel beat up. Like, that's, I don't know. Like, that's the point that it's got to with me in this game. I just, I want to be perfect, but I'm just so far from it. That's what it feels like, at least. But then I do just ground myself in reality. Like, okay, there's a lot of new players to this game, Dylan. You kind of know what you're kind of kind of know what you're doing and you could just not know what you're doing at all so it's like is the average thousand hour player better than me yes without a doubt right is the average 10 out a 10 hour player better than me yes of course but yeah i'm gonna get back inside my base make another crossbow nail gun probably another normal bow uh for on the side of the crossbow then i'm gonna hit up underwater lab we're gonna go there 
See what's popping there. We need to be careful, though. I've been getting greedy at these spots recently, like Underwater Lab, and then I end up dying because I get ambushed by, like, four bots at once. So I need to I need to watch myself here. <laughs> Let's hashtag chill, okay, boy? Dylan, can you shut up? All right, let's get this boat. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Underwater lab time. After I go over here and buy a tank as well. Dylan, do not be committing this silly goosery. Do not be doing this. All right? Oh, boy. Here goes nothing. So is there going to be a scientist that's inside this room? Is there, like, a window here or something? There is a window. Not seeing anything. I don't know how I'm feeling about this, but, uh, every little thing's gonna be all right, okay, guys? Every little thing. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, man. Like, like, give me some real food game, okay? Please. Food box here. Oh, my God. The back-to-back -back pickles. That is just, that is disrespectful. I mean, I'll eat them. Fuck it. Let's go. Okay. All right. That's all that I'm gonna eat. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna, like, run super, super far back and just wait for this. Just because, again, like, I'm not trying to get ambushed out here. Lady bitch. Give me that 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I mean, if I can just take them all just on, just one-on-one -on -one like that, then, yeah, it's gonna be game over, man. This is gonna be easy. Alright, you're dead. There we go. You're dead. So far, pretty flawless, Dylan. Nice work. Nice work. You're getting this job done like a real adult would, so we salute you for that. All right. Let's go ahead and put on these gloves. Ditch the trash gloves. Okay. Take that. Yeah, this is going to be a good run, man. I'm guessing at least 300 scrap is what I'll probably get from this. All right, we good, we good, we good. It was only two of them. We're fine. But see, I got to climb up. I got to climb up further. So, I mean, Dylan, you could realistically just use your crossbow, then nail gun, okay? It's really not that crazy here, okay? Shit, okay, let's go. Okay, Dylan. What is happening? Don't tell me there's another one on, on on their way. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Holy shit. Slow heal up, Dylan. Slow heal up. That's what I'm saying, though, man. Pushing up here, it's a problem. Oh, my God, dude. The components that I have on this run, this is disgusting. This place is nuts, man. Like, this underwater lab specifically, out of most of them that, like, I've been to in this game, like, this one's nuts. But yeah, put on these fins. All right, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Shit, man, I was guessing that I'm going to get, like, 300 scrap from this run. I might get way more than that. I already have, like, 100 just, just right there. I have 25 pipes. Oh, my gosh. Yep, there we go. Okay, 538 scrap. Damn, dude, I need to go to Underwater Lab again. Like, I mean, I don't know about today, but geez, I need to go there more this wipe, especially early wipe. We were able to go there just now with bows and shit, and it was, for the most part, pretty easy, minus <laughs> the one time that I almost died. I got down to, like, 20 HP. Aw, oh, shit, dude. I'm looking over here at this base on the coast. There's no TC, but there's two boxes, three furnaces, and a Tier 1. Oh, God, dude, I need to come back for that. Uh, and so I mentioned, I think that it was, like, maybe, like, a little bit over, like, a month ago. It was around the time where I started getting sick and whatnot, which, at this point, I don't even feel like I'm sick. I just have, like, a little bit of a cough here and there, and, like, that's really it. I'm not having to, like, blow my nose anymore and shit, but I had mentioned that I had jury duty. Like, I got summoned for it, which it's, like, my third or fourth time being summoned for it, and they always get canceled. This one also got canceled, so I thought that I would give an update uh, on that. Because if I did had to go, I would talk about, like my experience within shit because i don't get out much man i don't get out much so going and doing something like that would 
definitely be a, a bit of an experience for me, without a doubt. Alright, we have made it back home with that run, man. Let's go. Fuck, actually, I need to go back and get that shit from that base. But then after that, I'm probably just gonna go on, like, a small, like, PvP run. That shit, man, I'll pick up all these boxes, dude. You kidding me? Furnaces, too? Come on. Yeah, I think that at this point, I'm just gonna keep on just PvPing with this lower tier shit and see where it goes. Um... I feel like I've grinded enough today. I mean, I didn't grind up like a full sheet vault or anything, so I didn't care to get furnaces down like straight away, but yeah, we have everything for a tier two, which we're going to be able to get down, learn revolver, pistol, bullet, med, and then tomorrow will be more of a day where we're using more of that type of shit, I think. I'm just going to stick to the crossy nail gun grind today, though. It just sounds like the most fun. More challenging, of course, because it's lower tier, but it sounds fun. I'm hearing that guy shoot his freaking MP5 again, man. This guy feels like he's the boss around here. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so they're just door camping that guy. That's all that they're doing, okay. Jeez, man, these guys these guys love just shooting at the naked guy. Actually, no, I guess that I'm not naked, but, you know. That guy's pushing to the side over here to, like, get on top of this hill. So I guess now I'm going to try flanking this way and try getting behind him. Yeah, guys, I don't know. Someone hold me. Wait! Why are you so weak, sir? That guy was weak as fuck, man. What are you doing? Dude, I need the combat log and see how much HP he just had. That is crazy. I'm getting out of here, though. I got the MP5. Okay. Well, one of the MP5s. I don't know if this is, like, the main MP5. The durability looks really good for it to be, like, the one that, like, we've been hearing since I moved in over here, pretty much. Yeah, okay, let's go back home, get back out here. Crossy, I'm not gonna be leaving with the MP5 right now, I don't think. I don't have meds and shit, so... I'm not gonna be getting super greedy leaving with this type of shit. Like, what HP are you really pushing me at, right? 41 HP, 41.4 to 7.0, oh, man. I am grateful, holy fuck. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. There we go, something, something has went our way, guys. <clears throat> Which, I mean, like, there's been things that have went our way throughout this day, just not really too much on the PvP side, of course. Again, Dylan, like, you can't be beating yourself up too much for dying to people that outgear you that much, right? Like, yeah, you went to Dome, there was a revolver guy, and he beamed you with incense ammo. Like, boo fucking who, it's not that big of a deal, realistically. MP5 guy killed you earlier, boo fucking who, get used to it, it's an MP5 guy, you're gonna die, <laughs> like... I don't know, man. I hold my- like, like, I hold myself to such a high standard, but I don't, like... I don't, like, I don't train enough to live up to the standard that I want to be at. So, like, that's the issue. Hi, sir. I'm friendly. You're friendly? You're friendly? Yes, yeah, sir. Friendly? No loot. Could I, could I, is there any way I could have something? No, I'm pretty broke right now, man. It's not, not even, like, a tool? Nothing? Nope, I don't have a tool on me, I know. <gasps> Dude, like, I'm seeing these guys sitting at this, at this dude's base, man. Okay, so they're not camping him, though. Dude, there's fucking three of them. <laughs> what is happening in this fucking area over here, man? This place is a disaster. Like, what is going on? Dude, like, I'm tempted to, like, push over there and fight this shit, but there's an MP5 guy that's gonna peek me that lives inside the base. You know what, Don? Just push up and give no fucks, okay? Let's go. He's gonna be crouching left. Alright, well, yeah, that's that. Just gonna walk away with another gun profited. I mean, it's just a spaz. It's like one of the worst guns in the... Well, I'm not gonna call it one of the worst guns in the game. It's one of the most least used guns in the game. We'll just put it like that, I guess, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. There, there's just a lot of people over there coming out with gear just getting greedy and shit. Like, being low HP, being naked, like, it's actually making it pretty easy for us. And then, like, there is an MP5 guy that's inside that base that they're trying to camp, so... I think that's where, like, the main guy lives, named, uh, Stephanie, the guy that was mining earlier that I died to and all that. I wonder how much loot he's lost to these guys that are grubbing him. Ooh, actually, someone is calling in... Ah, uh, the heavies right now at oil. I'm not even joking. Someone's there. 
We're gonna go there and just go with this shit and just bullshit there and just see what happens, okay? Let's go. We gotta give this a quick try, because I never... Ever, I don't even remember the last time that I ever countered oil rig with bows, man. It's been so long. Probably years. So I'm gonna take out this. I'm gonna take out this, this, this. Combat knife? Eh, nah. I'm gonna leave the normal bow here, too, I guess. But, yeah, we're gonna go there with this. And I don't know how it's gonna go, but, uh... Yeah, let's go. I'm wondering if all the bottom bots are gonna be dead or not. Because if they are, that's gonna help us out a lot. Oh, uh, shit. Here we go. All right, we stop here. Take out this shit. Let's go. All right. Man, dude, like, it just feels like it's been a while since I countered oil rig because throughout the past season, which is, I mean, like, the last season only lasted, like, a week, but I didn't counter oil rig one time. I went there a few times, but I never actually countered it, so this is my first time officially countering it since the new update. Well, let me just pop up. Are the bots alive or no? Like, down below. It's not looking like it, actually. Oh, shit, dude, that's big. I think that I'd rather go for Doc or something. Wait, dude, my diving tank's not making any noise. That's weird. That means that someone else has a diving tank around here. Aw, oh, shit. All right, well, I might wish that I brought the, uh... What's it called now? The, uh, combat knife. Actually, maybe I'll just go for ladder. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the ladder, dude. Fuck it. I'm hearing someone swim down there. There's someone that's climbing up that shit right there right now. Now I'm hearing another tank show up. Oh my god. I'm just going to let these guys just do their thing up there. Because the dude's up there. I heard him up there. I heard one or two guys up there. And then there's the guy that I heard in here. Now I'm hearing another diving tank. I don't know if you guys heard that tank. But yeah, there's another guy that's down there. Okay, well, he killed this guy. I can't, but dude, I can't believe that. So yeah, th th this guy, I'm very certain that he's with the other dude that climbed up that shit. He just wanted to change his route. What should the plan be, my friends? What should the plan be? I feel like there's one guy that's on helipad watching this shit. Oh no, there's actually not. Wow. I could probably go up these stairs right now effortlessly. But see, it's like, at this point in my wipe, like, there's honestly enough time for me to go back home, depot this MP5, come back with the crossy and shit, but... Is that me being too passive? Should I just use this MP5 here, you guys think? Because gear does matter. The gear matters a lot for us right now, so... Saving this would be big. And then we could just come back here and bullshit with the crossy and shit. These guys are just chilling, man. They're not doing anything. So I feel like I'm just gonna do that. Because I, like, I don't feel confident pushing up into a bunch of MP5 rats. I feel like they probably have, like, guns like MP5s too, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to my boat straight up and... My gut's telling me that's the right place, so I'm just gonna follow that shit, go back home depot, then I'll be right back over here, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for this main thing right here, man. Fuck it. Oh god, I'm gonna start to die. Oh no, dude! <laughs> I don't feel safe going up these ladders, guys. I just wanna let that be known. Actually, no, no, the crate's, the crate's gone. It's off the map now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, done. I don't know if anyone's gonna be here right now, to tell you the truth. I don't even know. Dude, I, I cannot wait to be coming here throughout the wipe. I mean, oh, now server's restarting. Fuck. <laughs> we can actually just look at the item store real quick. So we have the uh, Apocalypse Nomad M39. Very, very dry. About as dry as a peanut, if you ask me. And then we have the Blocky Lighthouse door. Basic little fucking eight-year-old Jacob type door. Like, get this for your eight-year-old son that's named Jacob. Then you have cyber boots, and then you have cyber gloves. I kind of like the way that the cyber gloves look. I mean, the boots, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. They look okay. They each look okay to me. And then we have the Imperial Pump Shotgun. Classy, classy, okay. I like the look of that. That's that's fancy. I actually might need to get that. I'm not going to lie. And then we have the King Cali Furnace, which I don't know what a King Cali is or even if I'm saying that right, but yeah, King Cali Furnace. Not really my style, but cool. 
Then we have the Shadowborn large box. There's actually a door, a sheet door, I think it was, that just dropped. It's the same uh, skins. Uh, now they put out a box to match the door. Kind of cool. Not my type of skin, though. But, I mean, not many skins are, so it's not that surprising. Then we have the Snake uh, Bite Hunting Bow, just kind of like a green bow. Okay, cool. Basic. Then we have the Thunder Gold SMG. Thun uh, Thunder Gold DB just recently dropped. Thunder Gold SMG is now out. Not bad. Kind of a clean skin, I feel like. And then we have the Tomb of the Octopus Garage Door that does glow in the dark. I'm, I'm assuming that it's just mainly the eyes that glow in the dark. But yeah, this is for the, the older dudes that want to like... Look at my fucking garage door skin, bro. Look at this shit. They try and intimidate you like with their skins on their doors, but it has no effect on anybody. It's just one big... One big silly goose activity on their behalf. So, um, yeah, for this shop, sales-wise, I don't think this is going to sell well. I really don't think that a lot of this shit's going to sell well. Maybe the custom a little bit, maybe the box a little bit, the hats and gloves a little bit, but um, pump isn't really in meta enough for me to really say people are going to be buying that a lot. So, sales-wise with this shop, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10, and for my personal taste, I'm going to give it eh, probably a 1.5 out of 10. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the cyber boots and gloves are going to sell a good bit, and realistically, it's a 4 out of 10 sales-wise shop. I don't know. But I'll see you guys as soon as the server comes back up. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm dead. I'm probably blurring out the screen right now because my Steam name is shut. Yeah, I just now logged into the server dead. Dude, this same shit happened. I'm not even going to go back for my body because then I have to buy a boat and everything like that. But even though I'd love to have my crossy nail gun still. But that same shit happened yesterday when I was on a server that restarted. I forget the server that it was, but it was one of the highest pop ones. Like, the second highest pop server that was a North American server yesterday. And I, and then, like, I tried getting a start with grenades and shit. I was in a gas station as the server restarted. And then I log in, and then I'm dead. Same thing today now. Like, the server restart is just killing me if I'm in a monument, it feels like. Which is really weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Because bots aren't killing me or anything. Animals aren't killing me. It just says that I'm dead to myself. It just says that I'm killed by me. So, okay. Yeah, you have a beautiful rest of your day. I'm going to go and do the same. We actually got a solid start in today. It started off a little bit rough, dying a decent bit, but we eventually started leveling up. And we, uh, I mean, uh, nah, here, man. Let me actually put down my research table and research some sh uh, some shit now that I have the metal frags, too. Yeah, before I get off, I'm going to research maybe, I mean, do I, yeah, I'm definitely going to research revolver. But then... Can I research revolver, pistol bullet, and syringe? That's the question. I'm not sure. But we have two MP5 sets to work with tomorrow, which is sick. So we'll see where that whole thing goes. But yeah, uh, you have a beautiful rest of your day. I'm going to go and do the same. And if you made it here to the end of this video, comment the word furnace. And I will see you tomorrow uh, for episode two. So um, yeah, bye. Deep.